What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Got tangled up and stuff. Pisces. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Pisces as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So Pisces, the messages might be reversed for you. So take it how it resonates and leave the rest. What's going on, Pisces? My heart is doing things. What's going on, Pisces, when it comes to love with Chuck? My heart is doing things. Is your heart doing things? Because my heart was fine. Hmm. This is like good. Like I feel happy. So I don't think it's bad, but... What's going on? All right, let's see. Pisces, spirit, what's going on? People are being drawn to you right now, Pisces. People are being drawn to you. Um, the gift of scared light. What is this? Pisces. I feel like I need to do one more for you, so I'm gonna do one more. Over there, one second. This card is always be flying anywhere, okay? Bottom of the deck is I will show you whom to trust. I feel like this is an energy that you've left behind. Yeah. You need space in a relationship. Something's about to end for now. I feel like, you know, it's at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is this already happened. Um, but I feel like something needed to end in order for something to be, like, rebirthed. I don't know. Let's see. So the first card you have is Fiona and the Unicorn. <laughs> All right. So it says the gift of scared sight. So I feel like, oh, oh it's not that far. Okay, hold on. I feel like, Pisces, you see something that nobody else sees. And I feel like the universe, what is this? Six of swords and a fool in reverse. This is a side message. Um, the only way you're going to be able to move forward is if you take a leap of faith somewhere that you don't want to. You're scared to make this leap of faith. That is the only way you're going to find clarity is going down that path. I don't know what this is for you, but I feel like whoever this message is for, you're like in a mental situation and the you know, there's a new beginning that's like right here. And I feel like you got to go through that door, Pisces. I feel like you just got to just gotta do it. Just do it and see what's over there, okay? And then come back and we'll, we'll talk about it, all right? Um, what is this gift of scared light here for Pisces? What is this gift of scared? I said light. Sight. Some of you guys could be seeing a light. I don't know. Sight. Maybe it's like it feels like you're like you something has been illuminated. Wow, this is a lot of cards. You have the three of swords, the wheel of fortune in reverse, the five of wands, the six of cups, and the empress. With a full reverse at the bottom of the deck. Again. All right, Pisces, whatever this is, this is something from your past I'm getting or a soulmate connection here that I feel like brought you a lot of disappointment, a lot of pain. Um, I also feel like it, it was a really, it was a lot of people involved. Too many people were all up in the sauce. Um, I feel like this has ran its course. Um, but you're showing up as the empress here. So I feel like your intuition is telling you the only way to make something fair is to do something that you don't want to do. I feel like you don't want your independence to be taken away from you. And that could be why you're not doing whatever this is. But it's kind of just like rip the bandaid off. Just do whatever this is that the universe is. Because is, it's like you're seeing. It's like I feel like they gave you like 
you're a Pisces, I could tell you this, like a vision or like a dream or something like that. And I feel like you're just like, no, like, do you know, I was really disappointed. Like, it was really hard for me to obtain that. Like, why would I, why would I go back to that? That's, a, that already ran its course. But you're coming up as an empress. So I feel like you, there's something about you, Pisces, that you have to, you know, you guys are healers. You guys are, um, your energy is very healing for a lot of people. And I feel like there's like somebody kind of needs your knowledge, needs your, could be an Aries with the, Air, um, a Libra, uh, another, more Libra here. Um, yeah. That's what I'm getting. I don't know why you're, why this is happening, but I feel like your intuition is telling you you got to make something right or something like that. So, um, yeah, I just feel like you, you just, there isn't, I don't want to say you think negatively about it because with the Empress here, you're still open to whatever this is, even though all of this stuff is happening or has happened. So I don't feel like it's a horrible, um, you know, it's kind of like, your, your heart is still open to whatever this is, even though all this situation happened. You do miss this energy too. Don't laugh. All right, the next card is Snow White and her animal friends here. Okay, so um, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's kind of... It's like... I feel like this is somebody... There's someone around you that it's very easy for them to trust you, to confide in you. What is a Snow White and her animal friends? You have the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Swords. You drop this person because you felt you felt like it was too much of a burden. This person is coming back. I only feel, and then, because I, I think, because you were like, just like, oh, this is too hard. I don't want this anymore. But I feel like you you don't want it because you were thinking it was too hard. King of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I, I feel you not, yeah, whatever this is, I, I don't feel like you're going to be open to it with the King of Cups in reverse. I don't, I don't. I don't think you want to put work into this here. Communicate. I don't know what this is. It's coming back though. I don't see you really entertaining this though. Because it's like I feel like you know you're just going to go be right back in your head. Whatever this was. Are you dealing with two people again Pisces? <laughs> I think there was a reading once that I was like oh there's two people or whatever. But anyway. Yeah this energy that you let go of because it was just too the energy is coming back or might want to come in your direction but I don't see you entertaining that because I feel like there's a part of you that's just like yeah you're just kind of want me for my energy you just and I feel like a lot of you guys know that you guys bring what you bring to the table energetically or just your aura and all of that and you just there's some people that just want to be around you because it feels because it literally feels good to be around you and they don't know why. But it's because the energy that you have, and I feel like you're realizing that, um, and you're dropping it because the bottom of the deck, it was, nope, get out of here. Nope, X, X, X. Could be an X. I don't know. All right, next card is little brother, little sister here. So um, siblings, younger friends, and responsibility. This card I always take as siblings. So let's see what this is. What is little brother and little sister? Oh, you and your sibling are fighting. The star in reverse. Could be an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Ace of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse with the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck is a star card in reverse. Okay, so... You stopped wanting a new beginning with, this, with your sibling. Um... You stop fighting for a new beginning with your sibling here. Because it's like the more you fought, the more you backtracked is what I'm getting. Um, that's how you felt is what, I, is what I'm getting. But now there's nothing. Nothing is happening. Now nothing is happening. Nothing is moving. It's like. Pfft. But even though this there's like physically happened, you're still 
not completely like decided to not fight for your sibling that's what i'm seeing because the two of swords is like yeah i don't know what to do but physically you're showing me i'm i stopped putting energy into it you know i stopped talking to them i stopped fighting to help them move forward in some type of way right the star in reverse the page of cups and the seven of cups in reverse i don't i feel like I, okay, this is your your sibling. Your sibling doesn't have faith, but you do. And even though I feel like you feel like the, the... It's like the amount of faith that you believe in versus the amount that they don't believe in is like they... It's way more on their side. So it makes it look like, you know, what you have is like really little with the Page of Cups. But I feel like even that little bit, it's like there's going to... Is this what I'm getting? This is what I'm getting. I feel like your sibling or this person, a uh, sibling, is doesn't have any hope, right? And I feel like the little bit and then you just like the little bits of hope that you try to throw at this person, like little bits and pieces get through. And you're going to start seeing that. Um, so don't stop. Don't give up. That's what I want to say. We're going to ask for some advice towards the end, but I want to say that. Okay, so the next card you have is... The black cat here so um something has lost its touch something has lost its charisma what is this black cat <sighs> something has lost its like vibrant color that you once saw it as what is this black cat reverse okay you have the devil in reverse, the two of swords, two of pentacles in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse, bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles. Okay, so I'm about to call you cancers. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, So I feel like what has lost his color is... It... <sighs> you know what's funny? I feel like you, you could detach yourself already from this energy, but I feel like a lot of you haven't. It's more like a thought process. Like you stopped looking at whatever this was in the mindset of, oh my, I need it forever. I need it in my life. It's just so great. And I just, ah, like that is what I'm feeling. And you stopped thinking like that because that is the mindset of the devil energy, like obsession and, oh my God, I need to know, you know, like that. And I feel like you stop thinking like that. And there's this weird thing that happened where it was like you stopped thinking like that. And then you kind of felt like you felt like you depended on it. Like you felt like you depended on the fact that you were like, oh my God. Like that is what kept the color. The spark was the fact that you were so. And it's like if you take that away it's you, you see you see clearly what it is you see it's not a, it's not a working situation and it's going to be too much to handle because i feel like there's like parts to the situation to whatever this is that like you already know aren't so great but you know as a pisces like i told you guys in the other video you guys tend to um you know see more than what's being shown so you know what an energy really truly can be um and that's kind of but anyway I feel like you detach yourself from that mindset. Da 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 da. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, um, Ten of Swords in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. As soon as you stop putting energy into this, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I never get it as energy. I get it as work. But some of you guys, it could be work, literally. But I'm getting it more as energy. As soon as you stop putting energy into this, you were you could have you recovered so quickly. Like I feel like with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords is usually like a painful situation. But I don't feel like it was like that for you. Because I feel like this was more of a mental thing. So is a ten of swords, but it's more like of a of a a way of thinking, a way of which is hard for you, Pisces, because you're the imaginative part, you know, of us. Because <laughs> we're all one, but you know, and it's it's difficult for you to get out of that, you know. Um, but that is kind of 
what your goal should be in this lifetime is to get yourself out of that. Just like I'm an Aries son, so I have to learn to stop being so aggressive and, and everybody's face all the time. I've definitely, I've listened, these last four years, I've came a long way, okay? So, yeah. All right, let's give you some advice, Pisces. All right, so let's see. Passing. What is this Fiona and the unicorn? You have seagull. Look at the bigger picture. Bird's eye view. Look at the bigger picture, Pisces. It's not about what has happened in the past. It's the fact that what happened in the past happened and you're still open to whatever. There's still love here. That is what is important with the empress. Okay. Panama Tech is everything is divine. Everything is temporary. Divine timing. This had to happen right now. Also, it was only temporary for you guys to not, I don't know, maybe be in each other's space. Don't, don't be telling everybody here. Give this to yourself too. What is Snow White and her animal friends? Clam. Open up. It's okay to be vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's this person. You were vulnerable. You were, you were open to this person. I feel like Spirit is telling you that if you want to tell this person how you feel, you can. The person that you dropped because it was just too much. Or the people. What is little brother and little sister? I feel like they're going to come and want to like talk to you is what I'm getting with that card. You have mermaid. Be careful what you wish for. So when it comes to your siblings, make sure that your um Whatever it is that you, because you guys are very great men, this is the Pisces card, treasure says success, reaping the rewards. Make sure that you're thinking positive thoughts for them, right? Tell the universe, I want, please bring my sibling um, clarity to choose the right path, right? That's how we, that is how we um, help others in our family is by wishing them clarity to choose what's best for them. Maybe because, you know, do that because I feel like you're, it's like you're, you are a catalyst for this person's life, Pisces. These are, and I feel like this is, and it's like, I feel like for all of you, it's not you, not all of you guys are dealing with this, um, but this could be somebody very that you're very close to in your family. Um, but I feel like your intuitive insights and downloads, Pisces, are going to help this person. Okay, what is this black cat? submarine diving deep unraveling the subconsciousness yeah i mean you had to go deep to figure this out that you know the way that you attach yourself to certain thoughts make everything seem like grand grand beautiful and butterflies but once you attack detach yourself you see that it's actually garbage compass divine guidance this is the universe telling you we always got you you were guided to release this thought this whatever I love this for you. All right, Pisces, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.